that was my knee. Update time. Um, what do we got? All right, so painted this fucking guy. Got this literally hovering on some adjustable mix stands. Um, had to raise the motor an inch ish i want to say to get the 4080 pan to clear the frame uh the stock cross member will work but obviously now it's too low because it goes below the frame and the whole thing is up higher so i gotta i well tommy cut out the cross member for me and uh now i can use that to fabricate a cross member for the 4L80 and then <clears throat> had to cut this guy out because it's the the low tunnel but she fits she ships got a new dash pad coming got the uh, if you saw the short got the auto meter gauges installed they're they're back there and then um Let's see that needs to be cleaned up and painted we're ready to uh, hang the axle get it into ride height so we can mock up the four link gotta cut this guy because they <laughs> i guess they got tired of these coming loose so they threw some welds in there so i gotta cut that off so i can reposition it where i want it once because I think right now it's it's below the frame, so it would actually hit the ground before the thing laid out. So it's got to come up a little. New welder arrives today. I got the uh, what is it? Three ninety nine ninety nine Eastwood Mig one eighty. Uh, it did not come with the aluminum spool gun for that price. I think it's like that kit's like six hundred bucks, which. At that point, you're buying the $200 spool gun anyway, which is the same price as the Harbor Freight one, which is technically what they're coming with, I want to say. It might be a little bit better plastic or Chineseum, but same, same. But different, but still same. So, 85 Blazer-ish. Uh, they have a 25-gallon and a 31-gallon. I got both because they... Ship me this one to someone else's address and wouldn't do anything except refund me the money, which I'm fine with. Give me my money back. And then I went to order another one, but the, what was it? The 31 gallon had gone on sale, so it was actually cheaper. So I got the 140 bucks back, and then I spent 75 to get the 31 gallon. So the 31 gallon arrives. I get the 31 gallon pump assembly. Right, because I had the 25 gallon pump assembly sitting on the shelf because this one got sent to somebody else's house. And I even walked the block like UPS said. Didn't see it. So 31 gallon arrives, 31 gallon pump arrives. Like a week later, I get a text from some random number, but to my Google Voice number, which is only used for online shit. So like Amazon. <laughs> so your phone number is on the UPS label apparently next to... You know, they had the wrong address, but they had my name and my phone number and then wherever it got sent to. So I get a text from this number and dude's like, hey, I have your package. And I'm like, that's fucking, that's auspicious or whatever the word is. That's, I'm frightened. And he laughs and is like, it looks like a tank. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? He's like, yeah, I'm right down the street. They had, I guess the shipping kid was Listexic, you know, mixes stuff up, so... He put, it switched the last two numbers, so it was literally down the block. I don't know how I didn't see it, but it was also the same color as the wall it was leaning against. Whatever. But he's like, yeah, it's on the porch. I just moved into this place down the street. You can come and grab it anytime. I was like, fucking awesome. Thank you. So I went and grabbed the tank. That tank was free. Got the 31-gallon tank for half off. So Tommy got him a tank and a pump because, update, we're going to be doing, uh, what is it called, a, a work bed? utility bed with all the doors on it uh and a square body so uh you know what i mean 70 
74 to 87, 73 to 87, whatever. And then we got these guys cut so we can uh, cut out a chunk right there. And then that's where the uh, power steering rack will go under the frame and not get all chunched up. But I got to put it on there after we get it welded up and then make room for this line because it's going to hit that thing. And then this bracket was way over here, unlike this side, it's like four and a half inches. And this one was like right next to it. So I had to cut the welds off and break it apart and move it over here. So now it's, they're both four and a half inches. So one will hit here, one will hit there. Presto change, oh, magnifique. So yeah, <clears throat> that's where we're at. 29 bucks on Amazon, block off plates. Pretty good deal, it's aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Aluminium, I think is how you say it. And then the grill is up there, it's pretty. If you saw the short, it's all brand new. So yeah, I think if I can get it done and get my helper over here, I think a week, one more week. You know, the welder was just timing out on us. It would get like a pretty weld. Let me show you. You get, a, I want to say like three inches. Story of my life, right? But you get about a three inch weld out of it. Like this. You know, good enough. And then it'll it'd start doing this. And then you get a weld and you let it cool for a minute. And then it'd, and then it'd start acting up again. And then... You'd get a weld, and then it'd start acting up again. It's like, what the fuck is going on? So, I think it was thermally timing out. It's one of those, like, it's a smaller, what is it? Great for sheet metal and small stuff, but when you get into 3 sixteenths, almost a quarter inch, onto a quarter inch, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's like you got to run it 10 seconds and let it cool 10 seconds. Run it 10 seconds and let it cool 10 seconds. You can't just <laughs> with it. So, the uh, what's we call it? Eastwood will be here today. We're gonna get this finished up. We got bag brackets to go. <sighs> that cross member's gotta come out. I got super long saws, all blades. Yeah, it's getting there. Fucking A. Got some stickers. Got a bunch of stock parts if anybody needs this bullshit. Hardware for days. All right. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.